What we're going to do now is talk about a different property that can indeed be animated over time. It's called opacity. How see-through is something. So what we did last time is we put a feather on this mask, but this time we're going to make it kind of fade away. And now the little trick here is that the keyboard button that you're going to press doesn't quite match up like the other ones do. For example, take a look down here. When I hit R, I get rotation. When I hit S, I get scale, right? But when I want to put something on opacity, I don't hit O, I hit T. So that's the one that kind of throws you off. So you have to think opacity. That's the little secret there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to just play around with this by itself and then we'll keyframe it. So as you can see, currently this mask that we have on this island is 100% opaque. So we can dial it down. As you can see, it fades away. Now go back the opposite direction. And now what we're going to do is actually keyframe this. So we can either do a fade in or a fade out. So what we're going to do is make believe you're on a boat, like on King Kong, and you're in a big fog and you don't see the island just yet. So let's go ahead and click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. As you can see, the keyframe is over here. So I'm going to undo that and put it on the very first frame. So I'll go ahead and click here. And now I'll go ahead and scrub forward. And I'll go ahead and increase this number. And I'm going to hit the home key on my keyboard to snap right away to the first frame. And now let's go ahead and scrub the current time indicator. And you're on the uh, boat and the guy says, let ho! And you're like, what's going on? And you see this island just like this. And then of course a gigantic sea monster shows up and you pass out. There you go. So as you can see, opacity is really cool. You can do all kinds of cool things with this. You don't just have to animate it. You can actually have things, you know, kind of see through. So if there was something behind this, we should be able to see it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to layer, new, solid, and I'm going to make this solid blue. All right. I'll make a comp size and I'll hit OK. Now this now lives on top of this image and I'm going to actually make this image back at 100% opaque, but on the solid, I'm going to hit the uh, T key and we're going to drop the opacity down. And as you can see, we can see behind this solid right into the image. And I'll go ahead and uh, show you that we can actually move this guy a little bit. Let me grab my selection tool and I'll move the solid and we are able to partially see right through it. And that is something that you can use for effects like ghosts or windows, glass, being on the ocean. So if you have a submarine back here, you can have this as your ocean layer and that kind of thing. So that is opacity. Once again, it's the T key on the keyboard.